Terry Barber is a best-selling author and founder of Lighthouse Catholic Media. Jesse Romero is a retired law enforcement officer, a former kickboxing champion with a master's degree in theology. And together, they share a passion for evangelization and PhDs in common sense. It's the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. To join the show, call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show. This is High Energy Catholic Radio. This program's not about left versus right. It's right versus wrong. My brother Jesse is out for this weekend. I'm here, and I've got a special guest, but I have to apologize. Yesterday, we just started our program. I was interviewing a former Satanist, Jack, uh, Zachary King, and our power went out. That's why we, you lost us, so I apologize. I hope it doesn't happen again. I'm bringing a generator in so that if it happens, folks, we'll be back up in a couple of minutes. But I wanted to give you fantastic news because I'm a bearer of good, good news the Archdiocese, here comes everybody, Archbishop Sheen, his cause for his beatification was held up because New York didn't want to give the body to Peoria, Illinois. Well, the news is the family of Archbishop Sheen has filed a, re- a request to the state to bring the body to Illinois. And now why is that important? Because the po- cause for Fulton Sheen's beatification was held up until the body goes to where the beatification was started. So that's good news because for me, I've been praying for seven years. We've been waiting for this. I want to be at that Fulton J. Sheen uh, beatification. Believe it or not, back in 79 when he died, I took a flight from L.A. to New York to go to his funeral, and it was awesome. So Fulton Sheen started me back in the late 70s with St. Joe Communications, and over 30 million recordings have gone out since we started with Lighthouse and all the other organizations I've been involved with. Fulton Sheen is in 8,500 parishes around the country with his CDs. And so I'm excited that his cause is going to move forward. Please keep that in your prayers. Now, because it's Father's Day coming up, I just want to remind you, we did give away Scott Hahn's The Dadness with Gladness, two CDs. It's a set that he did on Father's Day. And if you still want to get copies of that, you know, Mom, get it for Dad. It's awesome. Scott Hahn does some great things for Dad's. Call 877-526-2151. And I just want to read something that every year at Father's Day I do on the radio, and I get about 800 people wanting this letter. It's a letter my dad read to us boys when we were growing up. Put your seatbelt on. It says, Dear son, as long as you live in this house, you will follow the rules. When you have your own house, you can make your own rules. In this house, we do not have a democracy. I did not campaign to be your father. You did not vote for me. We are father and son by the grace of God, and I accept that privilege and awesome responsibility. In accepting it, I have an obligation to perform the role of a father. I'm not your pal. Our ages are too different. We can share many things, but we're not pals. I'm your father. This is 100 times more than what a pal is. I'm also your friend, but we are on entirely different levels. You will do in this house, as I say, and you cannot question me. Now listen to this. Because whatever I ask is done is motivated by love. This will be hard for you to understand until you have your own son. Until then, trust me. All right, hundreds of people, go ahead and email me and I'll send it to you. Terry at com. That's T-E-R-R-Y at Saint, S-A-I-N-T, J-O-E dot com. If you want to hear it again, go to our podcast. But that letter has been a home run for years and sharing that with folks. Today, everybody, I have a special guest, and I mean really special. And why I say this is one of the biggest problems in our country right now is pornography. And you know, Jesse and I have been talking about pornography on and off probably 15 times a year. Well, I ran into a gentleman, a Dan August, who wrote a book from one addict to another, one man's journey from the depths of sexual addiction to freedom. Folks, this program is going to touch you and again i recorded a whole 45 minutes with dan uh earlier this week so that you could really get more content from dan on how we overcome this addiction of pornography and for those who want copies of it just call the 877-526-215 and all i ask is to pay the shipping and the handling but this could really touch people and you can get his book and i'll tell you how to do that in a little bit 
Dan, August, welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show, my brother. Hey, Terry, how you doing? I'm, Thanks for having me. Uh, Dan, I am blessed, and I'm blessed to know you, and I'm blessed to have your book from one addict to another. And, you know, on the radio, we just have a few minutes to chat because uh, the segments are so quick. But I just want our folks to understand a little bit about the book you wrote, From One Addict to Another. And again, folks, if you want to get that book, you can go to Road for Purity, uh, his website, to pick up that book. But Dan, why did you write this book? And then give us a little background, kind of a 30,000-foot level, because I'm going to, in our interview we did earlier in the week, you told us more. But you uh, tell right. us why you wrote the book, but also give us your, your, you know, how you got hooked onto this addiction. Well, you know, I wrote the book um, basically as a call by God at the time. And, uh, you know, the, the interview we did earlier has a whole whole bit on how I got into that. But right. I really felt like God called me to, to write this book. I had been going through recovery for a few years at that point, And something just told me I needed to share my story and I had to say something. And I began to do that. And the, you know, lo and behold, here comes the book. Yeah. Um, it was kind of a, a shock by God at the time. I didn't really want to do it, but I felt strongly. He said, I need you to do this for me. And uh, the title and everything else all came out at once to me, and I put it together. Um, the history behind it somewhat, yeah. um, I've, I've actually been in recovery for a little over eight years now. I wrote the book, released it about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it actually started... My struggle started before puberty. Um, when I was probably five, six years old, um, I ended up and creating kind of an imaginary female playmate, one that I could uh, feel accepted and wanted, somebody trying to fill the emptiness in my soul that I really didn't even realize at the time that I had. Wow. Um, I just, uh, for whatever whatever reason, I, you know, I don't know the details, but I know I wasn't uh, abused, I wasn't sexually molested or anything like that, but yeah. for whatever reason, there was, a, there was an emptiness that I had mm -hmm. that I needed to reach out for something that I wasn't getting. Um, and it kind of started there. And then, you know, like most everybody else's story, you know, goes into, into the pornography, you know, when you're 10, 12 years old, the neighborhood kids and magazines and into college. And, you know, there's nothing, nothing new about the story there. Sure. Um, but the fact that it just kept growing with me, um, and got deeper and deeper. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Um, we got about four minutes before our next break, but I want to ask you, as you got yourself involved with this addiction and uh, it affected your, I want to ask you too, and I know it, in your book you talked about how it affected your wife, and then I'd like to spend some time on how to uh, help others who are listening get out of that. But tell us uh, how this pornography continued as in your adult life, and it also affected your marriage in a very bad way. Well, I continued, like I said, into, into college. I eventually got, I got married, you know, like around 25. And I thought getting married, well, I'm, that's going to solve it all. And I've got somebody who, who wants me, who will be with me, who can, uh, you know, take care of my every need, not knowing that God is the one that's supposed to be the one that fulfills my heart. But expected a, a wife to fulfill that need. But mm -hmm. at that point, I had been so involved in pornography that I was basically a kind of a you know, selfish, self-centered person that was really incapable of truly connecting in a way that was needed to be. I, I couldn't reciprocate love yeah. in the way that we were designed to be. Um, and ultimately, on my end, it, it grew into massage parlors, prostitutes, affairs, uh, the whole gamut. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were several occasions that uh, really damaged my, my relationship with my wife uh, and ultimately my family. Wow. Dan, uh, this is an amazing story. And if people want to get your book, one uh, From One Addict to Another, Road to Purity, is it .com or .org? Road to Purity .com. .com. If people can get that book. But if they would like to get, and this is what I'm offering, a CD, two copies of of Dan's interview for a whole 45 minutes with me telling his story, you're welcome to get it by calling 877-526-2151. And I'll give you two copies, and all I ask is you to help with the shipping and the handling. Because in that, we talk about, which we're going to be talking about, how to help people get out of the pit of the addiction of pornography. 
Uh, and this is something you're doing, Dan, on a full-time basis. I know you're going to parishes, and I want to get into that. But let me just finish this before we go to our quick break. Uh, it affected your marriage. So uh, I'm going to do a teaser on this because after the break, I would like you to ask <laughs> and tell our listeners, you know, what was it that eventually got you motivated to um, get out of this environment of you know, and the uh, addiction to pornography and your relationship with Christ and how your faith came in. So after the break, I'd like you to do that. Folks, you're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. Again, I want to give a plug to the Spiritual Warfare Conference coming up. We've got one today. It's happening in Simi Valley. If you want to go to that event, I think you can still call 805-416-6007 and still come. And then we have one coming July 29th and 30th at the Sacred Heart Chapel in downtown Covina. Zachary King, the gentleman I tried to interview yesterday, he's going to be joining us on Monday if we don't have our power go off. Jesse Romero will be there. Father Bob Guerin will be there, and I'll be there. And there's still room for you to register. You can call 877-526-2151. I want to give a plug also to our Catholic Family Conference in Wichita, Kansas. For the 20 years we've been doing this conference, families, check out on your website, catholicfamilyconference.org. Got a great lineup of people coming there. And again, if you go to our website, catholicrc.org, every two months we have conferences here at the chapel, and we'd love to have you come to those. Pick up that free CD on how to get over you know, the addiction to pornography by calling 877-526-2151 or Scott Hahn's Father Day series, Dadness with Gladness. The two CDs, they're yours. Call us, 877 877- Five two six two one five. When we come back, we're going to ask Dan how he got out of this horrible situation. Back to the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. Want to join the conversation? Call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. As I mentioned, Jesse's out preaching this weekend. I'm here with my new friend, Dan August, who wrote a book, From One Addict to Another. But I want to remind you, Father's Day is coming this Sunday, and Dr. Scott Hahn did this series called Dadness with Gladness. He did it right here in Southern California years ago, and it's a bestseller, and I'm giving it away, called Dadness with Gladness, two CDs, because I want Dad to be in love with Jesus Christ, because I'll tell you what, when Dad's on fire for the faith, the family flourishes. Mom, call 877-526-2151 to get your copies. Also, I've got an interview with Dan talking about how he got out of being addicted to pornography. And you can get two copies by calling that 877-526-2151 number. Dan, I asked you before the break, you just set the stage mm-hmm. of how you got involved in pornography and how it affected your marital life. I mean, it was horrible. Now tell me a little bit about how the heck uh, you got out of this you know situation and how you got involved in a ministry helping other men and women get out of this addiction to sexual freedom uh, from addiction to freedom go ahead sure um you know at one point it was uh after so many of the different things of a uh you know the affairs and and things that were going on yeah um there's a, a point where my wife said you know enough is enough and we went and uh, visited visited a priest. She she was looking for permission for permission to divorce. Wow. Um, and he talked her into giving me three months and sent me to a men's integrity group that was there, and started uh, started meeting with them. Yeah. Um, and I got to tell you, the the very first meeting I was in blew me away. Why is that? Because it made me it made me realize I'm not the only one. Ah, good These point. These guys understood me. They're not sitting here judging me. Yeah. They're sitting here, you know, if, if anything else, they're giving me a hug after I share my story and where I'm at. Wow. Saying, we understand. We're in your shoes. Yeah. And it's like, I didn't know this was possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the other things, too, is they, they were doing a... a a sexuality program by Christopher West at the time, and they were kind of at the end of it. And, sure. and I bought it and wanted to listen to it. Yeah. And early in the CD, when I was listening listening on my own, he made a statement uh, that was by G.K. Chesterton mm-hmm. 
said, every man who stands at the doorstep of a brothel is looking for God. Yep, famous statement. Yep. I, I had to pause the CD. I started crying so hard. Wow. It, for the first time in my life, it hit me mm -hmm. what I was looking for. Sure. I didn't know that I was looking for anything. I just wasn't happy. Yeah. And suddenly it was like, this is it. This is what's all. This is what's been going on. This is what it's all about, and it just hit me all at once. Wow, that's a powerful witness. And then, so you got involved in this uh, spiritual or this, you know, retreat that the priest pushed you through for three months. But you didn't, you Dan, still have struggles. I mean, uh, you know, everybody who's oh, yeah. listening that has had any kind of pornography addiction, it doesn't just go away overnight. So continue, please. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I had I went into this retreat or it wasn't a retreat. I went into this, this integrity group and yeah. I've actually been in that group since for the Good. last eight years because it's one of those things that you know, like people join AA, they they go back for life. Sure, um, it feeds you, it keeps you strong. Yeah, but I started learning a lot about my stuff. I started learning more about the truth of what was going on, mm -hmm. and got brought the the woundedness that I had, the the shame, the emptiness, and really brought it. To light and started working on the wounds and what what it was that was driving me to do what I was doing to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and just through the the years of that is where I like I said I discovered myself and ended up very quickly co-leading a group um, and just felt the call inside. So I kept feeling God's going to ask me to do something. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but He's going to want something from me sure. and. First thing was the book that came out, yep. um, you know, a while after that. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I finished this book, and I said, okay, God, I wrote the book. I'm done. And the little voice inside of me that said, I need you to write this book, or mm -hmm. I need you to do this for me, sure. said, okay, now it's time to get started. <laughs> Good. What's that I mean? I <laughs> had no clue what that meant, yeah. but it, I couldn't get it out of my head. So, uh -huh. And then it just, just led from there. Um, Guys coming to me asking for help. Guys that have read my book wanted to, wanted counseling. Um, on and on. I eventually created a, a ministry a couple Good. years ago called Road to Purity. Right, and, and Dan, I just want to add that's where people can get your book, RoadForPurity.com. Yeah, RoadToPurity.com. Right on. And I want to just say that I did do an interview with you earlier in the week for about forty-five minutes that really laid out uh, audibly your story. And if people want to get that. Mom, Dad, if you have a son or daughter or you know someone that's been addicted to pornography, this is a good CD, a good book to get. If you want the CDs, I'll give them to you. You just pay the shipping by calling 877-526-2151. And at the same time, for Father's Day, everybody, Dr. Scott Hahn's Dadness with Gladness, two hours of Scott Hahn teaching men to be men and to be fathers. And I'm telling you, he gives a biblical view of fatherhood that I don't know anybody else that can do that as well. Numbers 877-526-2151. Dan, I'm also going to open up the phones if people want to call and ask you a question regarding uh, you know, the uh, sexual addiction of pornography and how to get out of that. You're welcome to call us. That toll-free number is a little different. It's 888-526-2151. That's 888 888- Five two six two one five one. Dan, as you started your ministry and men and women, is it true that women also find, give us some statistics? Is it just men, or what? Are there women also addicted to pornography? Absolutely. Um, these some of these statistics are, are staggering Ugh. that I ran across. Um, Fifty percent of Christian men would anonymously admit that they are addicted to pornography, and twenty percent of women would say the same. Wow. Um, women are on the on the rise, oh, no. um, and it's just I think it's because of the the society and the demands of what uh, um, men are expecting. I I just read an article the other day. Yeah. Uh, it was just day before yesterday on this woman who was addicted, younger girl, twenties or something. She said she started looking at pornography in her teenage years, so she would know what the men expected. What? Oh, that's sad. That I mean, that's I mean, how warped is that? Yeah. That's that's what's being fed out there, and that's what the, our young people are believing. You know, I mean, the old people too. You know, yeah. like like us, but sure, <laughs> unfortunately, but that's that's what they're being taught. So, so, Dan, here's my question. This is a horrible scourge on not just the church, but on all culture, but especially 
I've read some statistics inside the church. It's very sick. My question to you is, what if someone is addicted to pornography, what do you do? What's the first step they should take? Um, you know, the first step that needs to happen is they've got to get accountable. They've got to find somebody that they can literally confess to. Now, doing confession is, is first and foremost paramount. You have to do that, period. But to find a group of, of men, if you're a woman, find a group of women that you can get into a group with that are struggling with the same thing, that you can come clean and talk about your struggles. Yes. This is something that's in the darkness. This is where Satan wants it. Bring it to the light, take his power away, and start the healing process. I mean, that's obviously not all that's needed by far, but it's what needs to happen to start with. You can't keep this secret. Uh, well, that's, that's a good starting point. Now, let me ask you this, and this is a practical question. I've had this ask me just this week. Mom calling me saying, look, I just found pornography on my daughter's website, or not website, on her computer. She fell asleep on the computer, and I was shocked to see what she was watching. How do you yeah. handle a situation like that? You've got to talk to the kid. You've got to talk to your kids. Mm -hmm. They've got to know that you know. Mm -hmm. They've got to know that it's out there. Yeah. And pretty much, you've got to, parents have to approach it not as if my kids see it, but when. Uh, you have to just assume they're going to see it somewhere. Yeah. And they need to be educated on what it's really about, the dangers of it, and first and foremost, what is God's plan for sexuality, and why is this a problem? What is, <laughs> what is expected of us? Who are we as male and female? Right. And how are we supposed to be? Yeah. And then how, how is this attacked, and why is this damaging to our brains and to our bodies and everything else? You know, Dan, let me interrupt you, because I have already grown, I've already had my kids grow up, but I went through the theology of the body of St. John Paul II with my kids and talked about sexualities being beautiful and in its mm -hmm. right reason with the way God made a man a certain way and he made a woman a certain way. And In other words, um, I'm just giving you a, a take. Even uh, in my place, we have uh, chickens, we have uh, farm animals, and, and it seems like when they see these things growing up, the babies being born and things like that, it's, it's more natural. And I'm just asking the question, do you think that as we got into the city more where you don't see nature, you know, they don't even know where eggs come from, some kids, when I bring them to my place. It's funny. <laughs> I thought you'd buy them at the store. My question is, do you think city living has also contributed to the pornography issue compared to people that live out on farms and that see nature working? That, that's a question I have. You know, I, it sounds like it could make sense. I really don't know any yeah. statistics on that. Yeah, I'm just um, curious. Yeah, it sound, sounds reasonable. You'd probably have to do some studies and get some real statistics. Sure, sure. But um, I think city living versus country living, yeah. um, compared to the Internet, there's no competition. Got it. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to bring Dan right back with your questions. If you have a question for Dan, call us at 888-526-2151. You can go to his website, which is roadtopurity.com. You can uh, get his book there if you want to get a couple copies of a longer interview I had with Dan that I did this week. You can get that for free. You just pay the shipping. I'll give you two copies. Call 877-526-2151. At the same time, get Scott Hahn's wonderful set, Dadness with Gladness for the Father's Day. Mom, this will be a great gift to give Dad. Call 877-526-2151 or go online to catholicrc.org. If you have our little app right now, you can do it that way, too. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Dan on how to overcome addiction to pornography. Back to the Terry and Jesse Show on Immaculate Heart Radio. Want to join the conversation? Call 888-526-2151. Now here's Terry and Jesse. Welcome back to the Terry and Jesse Show. We always say we're too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed. And if hope was money, both of us would be billionaires. Jesse's out this weekend. I'm here with the interviewing Dan August, who's read a book called From One Addict to Another. But before I go back to Dan, I just want to remind everybody, I fly out just a couple hours from now up to Northern California. I'm going to be in Napa to give some talks on Saturday on evangelization. And then that same day, I'm going to go over to Santa Clara to Our Lady of Peace Shrine 
in Santa Clara, California, to give a talk to the men's group in the evening, and I'd love to have you there. And if you want me to come to your parish, call that toll-free number, 877-526-2151. And don't forget, the following weekend, I'm going to fly right back up to Northern California for the Elevate Conference. Go to Immaculate Heart Radio's website, and there's still time to join us. You'll see Patrick Madrid and all the different radio hosts there. we love to see you there. Lots of good things going on with conferences, and that's how you build your faith up. I'm talking to Dan about his book, From One Addict to Another. And if you, Mom, Dad, have a relative or a friend that has problems with pornography, you could be anonymous. Call us at 888-526-2151. Dan's an expert in this. He's been there. He's done it. He has a whole program helping people get out of the addiction to pornography. And, Dan, I just want to follow up with a question for Mom and Dad and, you know, the kids that they're listening that um, mm-hmm. the effect of the Internet, yeah. can you give some recommendations of how to control the Internet? Because it seems like 90% of the pornography, maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe it's not, maybe it's even more or less, but a good percentage of the pornography comes on our phones, on the Internet, and um, how do we control the Internet porn? You know, something that's really critical to, be, to, to do uh, with our kids, as well as ourselves, are struggling is to have accountability software or blocking software or apps on all of our electronic devices. Uh, there's several, com- several companies out there. Covenant Eyes is one that well, I used, happen one. to use. Yeah. But it, it's having something that um, blocks the, uh, the porn type of uh, access to the, on the Internet, but something that also tracks accountability. Um, one of the things that I like is, is one that will track your history and email somebody you know, once a day, once a week, once a month, whatever, with where you've been. Wow, that's a great um, idea. And set flags in that way. So that way you're, you know, your parents can kind of see where you've been. But as well, looking at you know, browser history and those kinds of things sure. um, on the computer. But it's knowing what the kids are doing. Um, and that, but that's just the beginning of it. Okay, then uh, what? so much more that needs. Well, beyond that, you've really got, like I said, you've got to talk to your kids about the sexuality. They need to know why it's a problem mm-hmm. and what the right answer is, not just don't do this. Got it. Um, and be understanding the fact that, you know, just because you think your kids aren't looking, you don't know what your kids' friends are looking at. Ah, uh, good point. You know, at schools, you know, kids walk around and say, oh, hey, look at this, and they're, sh- they're seeing stuff. Yeah. Okay? Um, and it's, it's they just got to have a reason to uh, talk to their kids and be open with them about it. And try not to be judgmental to the kids when you when you find stuff. Be understanding and talk to them and say, we know you're curious. We know this is out there, but yeah. we've got we've to get a handle on this because here are the damages you know, that can happen, the addiction. And addiction can happen two to three times faster on a young, soft brain than it can on an adult. Just a couple of times, uh, you know, a ten-year-old can be addicted. Wow, a ten-year-old! Amazing. We're gonna go I, to we're gonna go to calls, but f- continue your thought because I think it's important. Uh, how you handle that was masterfully. Because if you think about it, if you came and said, "Johnny, what are you doing, you knucklehead? I can't believe you know." That's gonna go over real well. But your right, approach right. goes a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've really got to be gentle with him because the truth is, the whole sexuality thing. We're designed as God to crave sex, to want to know the other person, to want to have a relationship. Sure. And when we're young, we're curious, you know, and even more so than, than later. But we've got we've to be able to talk to them and know what that is and have our kids understand where they're going with this. Um, but at the same time, like you said, not be yelling at them and yeah. making them embarrassed for looking or embarrassed for running into it. Sure. Most of the time they're looking and they don't know any better. Absolutely. All their kids are doing it. All their friends are doing it. Well, what's the problem? Yeah. You know? Well, and it's well like, said. here's the deal. <laughs> yeah, well said. Before we go to a call, I want to remind everybody they can get your book by going to roadforpurity.com. And if they want to get two copies of an interview I did with Dan earlier this week, I'm happy to give it to wait to anyone who calls 877-526-2151. I'm giving two copies because I want you to keep one and share it with a friend or family. Because if one person can get out of this addiction, this whole show was a success, in my opinion. But we can reach many with your hands. Call 877-526-2151 and also pick up 
the Dadness with Gladness two CDs. It's a set by Scott Hahn. Normally, it's sells for $15 in the stores. I'm giving it away. Why? I want the dads to have a biblical view of their fatherhood. And there's nobody better than Dr. Scott Hahn. 877-526-2151. If you want to join in on the conversation with a question or comment, that number's a little different. 888-526-2151. Let's go to uh, Glendora uh, and Angela. You're on the air with Terry Barber and Dan August. Welcome, my friend. Thank you, Terry. I love your show. Thank you. The highlight of my drive when I'm on the road around this time. (laughs) Well, God bless you. What's on your mind? Well, in light of the conversation, it reminded me of um, something that happened just a few, just a couple of months ago. My girlfriend got a letter sent home from a local school saying that there had been a um, cartoon of the character Shrek molesting children. Oh, no. And, yeah, and it's in the pack from, um, you know, kids were sending it to each other's phones. Yeah. And, you know, the, the kids were acting it out on the playground. And we're talking grade school, uh, you know, fifth graders. And so it, I just was completely shocked. I actually homeschool my... God bless um, you. I, I homeschool. This is my third um, daughter. But anyway, um, it really did open up a path of communication for me to talk to her and say, you know, you need to be very um, conscious of and, and protect yourself from what could possibly come over the phone or the Internet. And so it was a way of bringing it up. And, and I didn't give details, but yes. I just said, you know, there's stuff out there. And this is what looks like an innocent cartoon and leads them down a horrible path. Yes. So we need to know what's out and maybe start that conversation with a warning of watch, you know, protect your eyes. You don't know what you're going to see, and you don't want to see anything that will be stuck in your brain forever. Amen. Boy, uh, you got a Ph.D. in common sense, young lady. <laughs> God love you. I want to have Dan give a comment to what you said, though. Dan? Yeah, um, you know, that's a perfect example of, of what I was talking about, how you don't know what your kids are seeing. You don't know what's coming across their phones, mm-hmm. and this is the kind of thing that's happening out there, and it will stun us and amaze us, and our kids have to be prepared when this kind of stuff comes across, when they will see it. Yeah. What do we do with it? What's it mean to us? Is, you know, is this curious? Oh, this is fun. Look it on. Pass it on. Let's keep going. You know, or no, this is a problem, and do they know, some, know well enough to say something to their own friends? Right. Well, right. Angela, I want to say thank you for your call and thank you for your prayers and keep up the good work that you're doing with your family. And I want to also, since you're in Glendora, come and pick up the Dadness with Gladness CDs for your wonderful husband. He will love Dr. I, Han's I, set. I did just order it for him. I called just and ordered it. So thank you, Terry. God love you. God love you. And don't forget, we've got conferences in Covina, the Spiritual Warfare Conference, July 29th and 30th. And you know what I have in August, because every couple months we do these conferences, we have two Protestant ministers, are you ready, who are now Catholic, to speak on the Blessed Mother, a Marian conference in August. So if you go to CatholicRC.org, you'll see all of the conferences we're doing. Angelica, thank you so much for your call. May God richly bless you and the family. God love you. We're, ta- you're, we're talking to Dan August about his book, From One Addict to Another, One Man's Journey from the Depths of Sexual Addiction. Basically, it's, 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 um, it's pornography that he's dealing with in his own life, how he overcome it. And now he has a whole ministry, he wrote a book. He's doing uh, parish ministries. Dan, tell us a little bit about what you do when you come to a parish before our next break. In other words, you'll come to a parish and do a workshop. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, um, we do a workshop. It's uh, about four hours, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I do a presentation. I, yeah. I do mostly for, for men, because yeah. um, that's what I'm, I'm experienced in dealing with. Sure. But uh, there's a program, it's called God's Plan for Healthy Sexuality, mm-hmm. that I'll do this workshop on with men. Yep. We guide through the beginning of, uh, very touched on uh, uh, theology of the body, God's plan for sexuality, that kind of thing. Beautiful. But then what we really get into is, okay, guys, this is not how we live, is it, honestly? Why not? What's the battle? Why is this battle here? What do we do about it, and how do we fix it? And what's interesting, too, is, is this uh, workshop I just released this week in a format to where you can buy the workbook 
and listen to the DVDs or, or watch, or not the DVD, you can watch the videos yes. on my website. So, you know, if you don't have the workshop available to you or to attend, you can get it and do it at home. Awesome. And you can get that from roadforpurity.com. Is that a fair statement there? Ro- road to purity dot com. Road to purity. Okay. Road to <laughs> not for correcting you. No, yeah. no, no. Road it's road two. I'm going to correct myself right now. <laughs> You're listening to the Terry and Jesse show, and we're going to come back after a quick break and ask Dan some more questions about his wonderful work that he's doing to help people get out of sexual addictions through pornography. The problem with the pornography is so strong, folks. If you want to get the the entire interview that I did with Dan earlier this week. You're welcome to call 877-526-215, and I'll give you two copies for free. You just pay the shipping. And if you want to get Scott Hahn's CD set, it's a set, two CDs on Dadness with Gladness for Fatherhood. Awesome set. Call 877-526-215 or go to our website, catholicrc.org. After this quick break, we're going to get right back to Dan. the terry and jesse show on immaculate heart radio want to join the conversation call 888-526-2151 now here's terry and jesse welcome back to the terry and jesse show i want to thank you for joining us today and every day here in immaculate heart radio it's such an honor to be able to come into your home your car or wherever you're at and speak to you about something that i love and that's our god jesus christ and I, for those who didn't hear the good news at the beginning of the sh- uh, show, i got to remind everybody, good news is this. Archbishop Sheen's cause is going to move forward because uh, the body of Fulton Sheen is now going to be going back to Peoria, Illinois. That's where it was required for the process of the beatification. The beatification has been approved. All the miracles, we just need Fulton Sheen's body to go down there. And the, 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 the uh, family of Fulton Sheen has actually... Uh, demanded that from uh, the Diocese of, of New York to, re, to bring the body to Illinois. So that's going to make it so that we can be, get Bishop Sheen beatified. And for those who don't know my connection with him, uh, you, know, you hear me say full Sheen ahead. It's because Fulton Sheen affected me as a young man, and I've been promoting his CDs and talks for almost 40 years. And so that's the good news about uh, the Fulton Sheen story. But we're talking to Dan about his book, From One Addict to Another, and how to overcome the addiction to pornography. And Dan's been talking about his own story and then how he came out of it, and he's giving advice to our callers. And we've got a call coming, but I want to ask Dan one question, and then we'll take the call. Dan, um, have your experience with people who are addicted to uh, the problem of pornography, is this something that you mentioned earlier that, is it something that they're going to have to fight the rest of their life and be accountable for? Is that a fair statement, or is that something that that's not the case? That's my question. You know, it's something that will always be a challenge. Mm-hmm. If there's um, you know proper healing of the causes underlying wounds, woundedness of it, you can get to a point to where it's not overwhelming like it is, but it'll yeah. always be something that you can catch as a temptation, but you know what to do with that temptation immediately, okay. or where to direct it, or how to battle it. Um, you know, I, I teach a lot of that in my workshop as well, but mm-hmm. um, it, it's knowing the underlying wounds, rather than just learning coping mechanisms, which uh, some places will just work with that, um, but then it'll always be a hard battle, but it's healing the reasons why you're looking to begin with, and it's more than just education and knowledge. Dan, you mentioned at the beginning of the show you were not abused as a child, um, but does that play a role in pornography? In other words, a, a father who's not at home or uh, a youngster that was abused by a relative, uncle, aunt, does that play a role in a pornography? That's my question. Absolutely. Um all of these factors affect our our self-worth systems Uh and when you really get to it the root of why we're looking is feeding that self-worth we're looking for something and if we don't have it from god and we're not getting it from our families Mm -hmm. we we're going to find it somewhere it will be introduced to us we will find it and we will seek it out and look for it um and, and it's finding that and that's one of the things with the kids it's you know as parents do you know your child, what your child's self-image is. 
Is it rooted in God, or would they even tell you? You know, and if if you don't know the answers to those questions, it's some some direction you need to start looking. Repeat that one more time about self-image. This was critical. Say it one more time, please. You know, do you know what your child's self-image is, mm, and is it rooted in God, and would they tell you? Wow, that's 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 gold right there, folks. Wow. Dan, this is amazing what you're doing to help people come out of this addiction. Let me ask you this. What about, in your book, you talk about a lot of pain that people have to deal with. And and what I mean by a lot of times um, people will ask, why did God allow this to happen to me? In other words, how do we acknowledge our free will, decisions we make, or how do we deal with the question of pain and, and, and the causes of that pain? You know, there's, it's a spiritual war. Mm, um, we amen. have free will, and it's about us choosing God. And just the fact of, of life and the enemy and the way the world's influenced, there's, there's pain, and that affects us, how we see ourselves, how we behave, how we treat others, um, uh, you know, and so on. And bottom line is we, all, we are all wounded, every single one of us. Amen. And if we don't transform that woundedness, we will transmit the pain that it caused. Bottom line, that's just that's just a simple fact. Yep. Um, and you know, one of the things that uh, that really turned me around, um, or, or that I recognized turned me around, yes, is how I used this woundedness, or how God used this woundedness to to bring me to Him. Um, for a long time in my recovery, I was looking for the smoking gun. What made me this way? What caused it? So I could go fix it and make it go away. Yeah. You know. Years ago, I would have paid any amount of money for a pill to make this go away. Wow. But the relationship I have with Jesus Christ now, where it has brought my faith and what it has done for me, I lean on him, I need him, I use him for this. Today, you couldn't pay me enough to take the pill to make (laughs) it go away. Got it. I need him. This makes me need him. It's a thorn in my side, and his grace is sufficient. Period. Amen. Don't take that thorn out. Amen. And, and Dan, we just have a couple minutes left, but I know in my interview and that I'm giving away to people if they want to pick up a couple copies of Dan's interview with me where he goes in more detail of overcoming the sexual addiction of pornography, call 877-526-2151. But you told me your visits to the Blessed Sacrament, receiving that time before our Eucharistic King, uh, also helped a lot. Can you elaborate on that, please? Yeah, there, there was, uh, um, I think I shared with you, there was one event when I was writing my book where I felt like I was really um, being attacked. I felt, I felt like I really personal, had, a, had a personal visit, if you will, by, yeah. by Satan. Right. And I, I called out to Jesus and said, what do I do? And, he, and I felt him in my heart say, come to me. I ran to the nearest adoration chapel, and I thought I, thought I fled. Um, from the enemy, and when I walked in that chapel, I felt him leave me. It was the strangest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I felt him leave me as I walked in the chapel, and I turned, and I looked at the Eucharist, and I saw Jesus, Mm -hmm. and I said, he won't go in here with him. (laughs) This is really him. I'm a convert, okay? Yeah, yeah, this is the Eucharist because they said so, and I I get it because, you know, it's an intellectual thing, but that was the first time in my life I ever looked at it and got it. That's awesome. This is really him. Yeah, amen. Wow. That, to me, is one of those... That's why I say, Dan, irregardless of pornography issues, every single Catholic, bar none needs to understand how much Jesus loves them in the Blessed Sacrament. That I tell people all the time, Dan, if God stopped thinking about you, you'd cease to exist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I know, and that, but a lot of us don't understand that issue of, of how God loves us so much. And I think that also does have a play in our situation, that people don't understand the relationship with God and how powerful that has to be in your life to be able to overcome not just pornography but all kinds of issues i mean think about it living in the presence of god to me is the issue that i promote and i tell everybody dan every single day make a commitment to ask jesus christ for more faith so you'll build your faith up dan we just have a minute left i want to remind people they can go and i think i'll get it right this time dan 
uh, road uh, to purity.com. That's your website. You can pick up your book, his book, From One Addict to Another. If you want to get Dan's CDs of an interview I did with him, uh, you can call 877 526 2151. And at the same time, because this is Father's Day weekend, I couldn't forget to give away Dr. Scott Hahn's Dadness with Gladness series. He gave two talks on fatherhood from a biblical perspective that every father should have, in my humble opinion. Mom, give him that rather than a pair of socks. That's my suggestion. Call 877-526-2151 to get for your free CDs. You just pay the shipping. Dan, your final thoughts before we have to let you go. Go ahead. Um, you know, look for, look for transparency. Mm. Be open. Look for... Just look for healing. Look to reveal your inner pain and wounds. Um, don't be afraid. Uh, bring it out of the darkness. That's where mm. Satan wants you. Amen. That's where his power is. Um, you got to look for the inner healing. You got to look for life changes. Um, I don't care how far you're in deep into this. Yeah. yeah, it can change. It doesn't have to be this way. Right. You know, the emptiness, everything that's there, it doesn't have to be this way. I know, I've been there. Yep, you've been there, done that. Dan, thanks so much for your time. May God richly bless you, you and your family. I, I just feel like I know you now, and I hope that our <laughs> listeners enjoyed listening and got some inf good information. God love you, brother. Thanks Thank so you, much. you too. You betcha. Right, bye -bye. Folks, you're, you've been listening to the Terry and Jesse show. We just ended an interview with Dan August, who wrote a book, From One Addict to Another. We're also giving away his CDs that I did a special interview with him earlier in the week that I think is very, very impressive, the information he gave. If you have a son or daughter, anybody who's you know, problems with pornography, this is something to give them. Uh, call 877-526-2151. And at the same time, Dr. Scott Hahn, Dadness with Gladness, one of my favorite sets by Scott Hahn. If you don't have that one for your husband... Get it for him because this will make him a more biblical husband, biblical father. And don't forget those who are going to come to our Spiritual Warfare Conference July 29th and 30th at the Sacred Heart Chapel. There's still room, but I can't say that, you know, maybe in a week or two. So call us at 877-526-2151. Zachary King, a former Satanist, he's here in town doing a, a Spiritual Warfare Conference. We're going to record it, and I'm going to try and get him on for Monday, because remember, we tried it yesterday, and all the power in the city went out for one hour, the time we were going to have him on the radio. We're going to persevere, folks. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. We are blessed to have you, our listener, and I hope may, I hope that God will bless you and your family. Don't hesitate to call that toll-free number to get that material we're giving away. 877-526-2151. Scott Hahn, Dadness with Gladness. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Keep up the good work, and Mom, God love you. Full Sheena head. <laughs>